Hi. Have you heard of the words macronutrient and micronutrient? If not, let me clarify for you. The nutrients providing energy are called macronutrients, shortened as macros, the building block of your diet. The macros are carbohydrates, carbs, protein, and fat. Carbs are the body's number one choice of fuel when it's available. Your brain alone needs 100 grams per day in order to function. Protein has a lot of functions in the body and plays an important role for hormones, blood, enzymes, immune system, and as many people know, vital for our muscles and tissue. Fat is also providing the body with energy, but is slower energy compared to with carbs. Fat is also important for hormone functions and the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. There are also fibers and sugar alcohols, but that's a bit advanced and we can ignore it for now. The majority of every food you eat will be composed of at least one of these macronutrients, but together with them, in every natural food, you will also find different micronutrients. Micronutrients are minerals like potassium, zinc, magnesium, and vitamins are A, B, C, D, K. Food will normally contain a mix of minerals and vitamins. Some foods will be higher in vitamin C, while others will be full of zinc. That's why a balanced and varied diet is the key for a healthy and strong body. Each macronutrient has different calories per gram. Carbs, four calories, protein, four calories, and fat, nine calories. Calories are the amount of energy needed to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius. But it is more commonly known as the energy that our body needs and uses. Every food we eat will give us a certain amount of energy. Some foods are high in calories and others lower. A banana, for example, is high in the macronutrient carbohydrates, high in the mineral potassium, and the vitamin B6. A 90 gram banana will contain 80 calories. Understand how it works? Every food will have their own macro and micro split, which can be seen in app by searching for the item in our food database. Trust the blue badge items, those are verified by us. But what role do calories play on weight loss or weight gain? Let's say a woman, 27 years old, 65 kilograms and 173 centimeters, wants to lose five kilograms. If she wants to lose weight, she will need to eat less calories a day than her body needs to maintain weight, which normally for this type of person with a moderate energy expenditure would be around 2000 calories per day. Remember, this is individual and based on sex, age, height, weight, and activity level. A simple way of explaining it. If she eats 1500 kcal per day for a period of time, she will be on an energy deficit and eventually lose weight. If she eats 2000 per day, she will maintain her weight. And if she eats 2500 kcal a day, she will eventually gain weight. The hard part is to know how much you are eating and what you should eat to achieve that goal. And that's where life sum comes in. If the goal is to lose weight, eating low calorie, high density foods filled with nutrients is the best way to achieve healthy and consistent weight loss. Tracking what you eat is part of this journey. You could lose weight by eating only donuts as long as you are on a calorie deficit, but that is not the best choice since you will not meet the nutrients your body needs. LifeSum aims for a healthy journey towards the goal providing education and necessary tools to our users to guide them during their journey to a healthier lifestyle. But how does our body utilize energy? Our body needs energy to perform its daily tasks like breathing, the heart pumping blood, brain functions, and even sleeping. This is known as our basal metabolic rate, BMR. That makes a large part of our energy expenditure. It also needs energy digesting food. The rest are physical movements, which are divided into exercise and workout, and daily moves like cleaning, walking, or having sex. 
so your body is constantly burning energy. Yes, you can lose weight without exercising. Regular exercise is, however, necessary for overall health, not only for weight loss or muscle building. LifeSum has different types of diet plans and meal plans. In app, a diet plan is a setting that will allow the user to be more auto-sufficient in their diet. We will give guidance using food ratings, macro split, and recipe suggestions. While the meal plans are more detailed step-by-step -step guidance with a list of what the user should eat and when. We have a variety of them and we keep adding more, but let's go through the most popular ones. Clean eating is a diet focused on health and well-being. The goal of this diet is to eat nutritious, colorful foods in its most natural state. That means foods that pass through no or minimal processing. Ultra-processed foods are not part of the diet, but since LifeSum supports a balanced lifestyle, we believe that's totally fine to occasionally eat something not so nutritious. Another big one is the keto diet, which the goal is ketosis. Since fat becomes a storage and carbs are burned by our body first, the keto goal is to limit the intake of carbs so the body will instead use the stored fat to burn. For that to happen, you need to eat max 50 grams of carbs per day, which is difficult to know if you don't track your food with a tool like LifeSum. When you are on a keto diet in the US, you tend to count net carbs, which is total carbs minus fibers. Since fibers do not affect ketosis and are very important to our digestive system, it is better to count net carbs when on a keto diet. Net carbs equal carbs in all other markets since the fibers are already subtracted from the total amount of carbs in the nutritional information. So no need to calculate net carbs for other countries than the US. Watch all the videos in our Nutrition Time series and you will be up to date with nutrition. Enjoy!